Hello, you studio people. I mean, of course, Guitar Players, because you're on my channel and all that stuff, but primarily we're talking about recording. We're talking about working with a computer or a recording thing or, or a mixing disc. Anything where, no, not with the computer, re headphones. So here's the good old problem. You can't mix on headphones, which is true. But do you know why? Well, because headphones suck. No. What? Well, because you have a speaker, which is there and then there. I mean, here. So if I'm here, okay, you have a speaker that's there and there. And then you're sitting here and they're playing here. But that speaker doesn't just go in here. And that speaker doesn't just go in here. That speaker goes in here first. And then a little bit in here. But it also bounces off the wall and comes into this. So it's an amalgam of all the reflections and then that speaker comes no that speaker comes in here first but then also bounces off the wall so it's much more complex than this because this that one goes in this ear that one goes in this ear and that's why headphones don't sound like listening to speakers even in a perfect environment, and I've got a pretty good environment here with treated walls. Um, if you show the desk, just click to the desk, Vanessa. Vanessa is switching this video. See, there's my KS Digitals, great, great speakers, but there isn't a lot of reflection from the back wall because it's got this wooden stuff on it and all that stuff. But obviously, that speaker doesn't just go in here. It's also bouncing off the wall and goes a little bit in here. Now, how do we simulate that with headphones? We have Rehead from my friends at Blue Cat Audio, which is a very simple plugin. What that does is you put it on the master chain and uh, pretty much behind everything. And instead of playing to your speakers, you play to your headphones. And it simulates pretty much all that bouncing around. It's weird in the beginning, but once you start working with it, you have a more realistic spectrum in both ears. So it'll be much closer to what you would experience with by listening to speakers. So it's a good idea to just have that on because when you take it off, it's not this, oh my God, oh my God, A, B. It's much closer to what speakers will give you. And um, I'll show you the controls. It's rather simple. So you see, we have this here, uh, but if I go to my mixer, I have it right here in Cubase. I'm, I loaded up a mix. On the master bus, right down there, I got rehead, and uh, that's where you put it. So, really, what you have here is stereo width. You can spread, you know, kind of how far is it's not necessarily where the speakers are, but how wide do you want the stereo spectrum? You can flip the ears in case you didn't put these on correctly. And then, speaker position in terms of height, which changes the sound a little bit um, with binaural on or off. There's an overall brightness and an overall gain. And very interestingly, in EQ, with presets, let me show you this, Factory Basics or even different headphones already uh, in it. I have seen as an H25. I think these are H25D or something like this. But I mean, different uh, EQ settings. If you don't like the EQ setting, it's actually not a problem. That's just a kind of a preset. You can go in open an EQ and actually fully EQ it as you wish. So you can see they preloaded a couple of here yeah, AK240s, lowered that here, kind of to make them sound more as if you were in the room to compensate for whatever the headphone adds. I'm going to go to my Sennheisers and we don't edit that. We're not going to turn them on. So what we're going to do, what you and I are going to do is the following. You're going to not listen on your phone. You're not going to listen with your monitors. Put on headphones. And then we go like you would in the studio. And then I'm going to turn this on and off. And you can hear what it would sound like with headphones the normal way and what Rehead can do for you. Obviously, getting a demo version and checking it out uh, before you buy is a good idea and listening on your system with your headphones. Wait, wait you, you actually, you are listening on your system with your headphones. Obviously, I can't record into Cubase today, so I really hope that our levels are fine because I'm recording straight into the hard drive 
It has a poodle. That has nothing to do with the plugin. So I will turn my mic off and then back on once I have to speak again. But we're going to explore that together and then the video's done. Rehead coming at you now. So this is a fairly simple plugin um, that easily allows you to tailor the sound of your headphones to the experience in the room. I love the brightness knob because you can, and sometimes your speakers are brighter or duller than your headphones. I've got these Philips headphones that have a lot of trouble. And it doesn't make sense to record or mix with them and then take them off all of a sudden. Oh, Oh, this it's not 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 enough brightness on my uh, uh, monitors, which you should trust more. And then you're trying to put the brightness in, which is a bad idea. So the EQ, the presets for the headphones, great. And when you first switch to it, and when you first switch it on, it feels as if there's phasing going on. You know why? Because there is. Because if if you put a little bit of that delayed into this ear, it, you know that speaker into this ear, you know what I mean. Obviously, there is a little bit of phase cancellation going on. So this is what this does. And um, the feeling subsides within seconds. And then when you switch back to turning it off, it's all of a sudden not so bad. So it is something you have to get used to. But I think the result will be that in an environment where you cannot have speakers on, you have a, a sleeping baby, you have neighbors where you have to mix with headphones, I'd rather mix with Rehead than without, because I know it simulates the room and the situation of frequencies in the room more than uh, not simulating it, meaning just using headphones. Uh, again, that brightness knob, just be, tweak it a little bit, turn it, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on, compare it with your speakers, and you will get a lot closer than without it. It's not cost prohibitive. I don't even know how much it is, but it's not ridiculously expensive. It's a good tool from good French people, and why not? So thanks, Guillaume, for letting me uh, show this to my viewers, uh, you guys. Uh, yes, this was a paid video, but come on, it's a cool product. And you know what? I wouldn't do it if it wasn't. 
I don't push crap on you guys it, I, because you know, wouldn't come back and I want you to come back. That's it from here for now. Thanks, Vanessa, for the switching. Thanks, Gio. Not thanks to the poodle. Links below. Animals at the end. I want